So after finishing Amazon's Fallout, here are some things I'd love to see added to Season 2. Let us quickly rejoice, Fallout fans, because we have ourselves a pretty damn solid adaptation. I do feel bad, and I am sorry, Halo fans, because oof. <laughs> Cortana! That's rough. With the announcement of Season 2 coming for Fallout, here are some things I would love to see, and the probability that I think that they'll show up for Season 2. Let's go. Now, first things first, out of all of the radiated, creepy crawly bugs of the wasteland, it makes sense that rad roaches were the first ones to be featured in season one. Crimity, more roaches! What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own. No! I would really like to see the rad scorpions make an appearance in season two. These guys are very iconic and they've been a staple throughout all of the games. So to see them show up in season two would be awesome and it would put our heroes in very perplexing situations. I gotta say, the probability for Rad Scorpions in Season 2 is a pretty much a guarantee there, brother. However, on the other hand, New Vegas was teased so... No! God, please, no! 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 Okay, now we did get the T-60 power armor, which was super dope. It looked amazing. However, let's be real, if we had the X-01 power armor show up, we would have lost our minds. If this armor makes an appearance in Season 2, it will be a super hype moment. I know we all can't wait for it. This armor just looks so badass, looks so menacing. When that person pulls up in that armor, you just know it's about to go down. However, I'm not too optimistic about this armor making an appearance in Season 2, so I'd probably give it a 20% chance that we would see it. Alright, now this next one, I was kind of genuinely surprised we didn't see, because anytime they were around a body of water, I was just like, Mirelurk, 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 it's gonna be a Mirelurk, just watch, just watch, the Mirelurks are coming. A jackal, jackal, it's a jackal, it looks like a jackal, jackal! So, uh, I was, I was wrong. They did not make an appearance in Season 1, so hopefully we'll see some Mirelurks in Season 2. Not gonna lie, I actually kind of feel pretty confident that we will see uh, Meyer Lurk, so I'm probably giving this like a 70%. Now with this next one, I'm not really too surprised that they didn't show up, although was kind of hoping we would see one, obviously, like most of the things on this list, but it was the Super Mutants. They would have been all terrifying to see, especially a behemoth. But there's a fan theory that possibly Thaddeus is not turning into a ghoul, but is instead turning into a Super Mutant, and I love that idea take an account for his healing factor. We don't really see ghouls heal like that, but super mutants, it would make sense for them to have that healing factor. Now, I think it would be really cool to see super mutants appear in season two and even maybe get the first glimpse with Thaddeus turning into one. That would be kind of sick. This one I'm kind of iffy about. I feel like we'll get like a 50-50 chance of possibly seeing some super mutants. All right, upon editing this, I don't know how much jet I was on, but for real, like, we have to actually get Super Mutants by Season 2. There ain't no way we can avoid them this long in the Wasteland. So I'm actually going to move this to a 90% chance that we get Super Mutants in Season 2. I also think it's important to note that we did see in Episode 2 what we could only assume was a Super Mutant's hand. So technically, we did get a small glimpse. Please, for the love of God, let's uh, let's keep uh, centaurs out of there. Jesus, they are terrifying. Are you playing with Sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Oh, who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. With the show's timeline being relatively close to not just Fallout 4, but Fallout New Vegas, and New Vegas even being teased at the end of Season 1, I could see the real possibility of some returning characters from those games. But the question is, which one and how many? And in the case of Fallout New Vegas, realistically, I mean, we already did get Mr. House in Season 1. I can see him making a comeback, although it would change the canon of how people ended New Vegas. I could see that messing with the fans, but I can see them still using him overall. Aside from Mr. House though, who better to show up than Yes Man himself, showcasing those really cool Securitron robots in a hilarious manner. Now I know this next one might be a stretch, but if Joshua Graham, aka the Burn Man, makes an appearance, I know the fans will go wild. If I had to pick a percentage on the likelihood of any of these characters to show up, 90 for House, 40 for Yes Man, and probably 10 for Burned Man. And in the case of Fallout 4, seeing that it takes place all the way in Boston and the show takes place on the West Coast, 
the likelihood of any of those characters bumping into each other are pretty much slim to none. However, this is the Fallout universe we are talking about. So if I had to pick any characters that I think would show up from Fallout 4, I'd have to go with Nick Valentine. Being a synth and detective, I could see him popping up towards the end of Season 2 as a little teaser at the very end, giving us also our first look at synths. And I'm not too sure on this one, but let's go with 15%. Another subtle man. You get your fucking hands off me. Now we did get the skull, but they know what the Fallout fans want. We want ourselves a mean, scary old Deathclaw to come out in season two, and not just a little tidbit here and there. Give us a full-length episode of a Deathclaw just wreaking havoc, causing mayhem, making you clench your butt cheeks. That's what we really want. That's why we're here. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, also, with the Skull Tease, this is pretty much 100% for getting it in Season 2, so let's go. Now, there's just one more thing that if they brought into Season 2 would be hilarious, and that would be the Mysterious Stranger. I think the best way to introduce it would be if only one character got to see the Mysterious Stranger, and they just kept on trying to tell everyone else, like, there was another guy there that helped us. There was another guy there that shot that thing. There was another guy right there. You didn't see them? Are you crazy? You know, making them look absolutely insane. It would be like a little inside joke with the fandom. But other than that, that just about wraps up everything that I'm kind of looking forward to in Season 2. What about you? What are things you would like to see in Season 2? Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I'll catch you guys next time. You have a wonderful day. Peace.